What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I got five more picks for you guys for tonight's college football slate. Got four games, pretty big for a Friday night slate, and I uh, actually have some pretty decent matchups here. Looking at a recap from yesterday's free picks, we ended up, what, three and three pretty much? So you can see up on the screen, we had Baker Mayfield over 199 and a half passing yards. He chalked, he needed uh, 20 passing yards, and he would have cashed for us. We had Koo over one and a half field goals made. I know we had at least three, so that one was free. We had Goblin over 64 and a half. He had 64. Four, so he hooked us, which is really unfortunate. And then we have Rashad White over nine and a half rush attempts, which he did cash. Robinson over 15 and a half receiving yards, which he cashed. And then we had the Bucks money line, which ended up chalking in overtime. So uh, this one could have been a sweet man. It was so close. I feel like if Mayfield would have hit 200 pass yards, then Godwin probably would have got one more reception and would have cashed for us. And then I think Bucks, I think Bucks should have won. Honestly, they led the entire game, and uh, I do think if they had a chance in overtime, maybe it would have been a different story. But it is what it is, guys. Three and three, not a good day in free picks. We did have a great day in VIP. I'll show some of the winning slips. We cash this one right here, a little double up slip. We cash this one right here, a little payout boost. It's like a $20 max play that we played right here, which ended up cashing for us. We played this $50 slip on Sleeper that cashed. We played this $250 underdog slip. We had McLeod and Mayfield, a little free square. $250, $1750, which was a really big dub for us yesterday. Cash this little double up here. We had Rashad White and Robinson, which was two of the free picks played together. We had uh, two plays on chalkboard. This one cashed a little, uh, almost a double up, 1.6x. And then this one right here was a little more than double up that cashed for us. So overall, really, really good day in VIP. Could have been fantastic if not for um, for uh, those couple of free picks that missed because we would have cashed three or four more slips, which would have been an amazing day. But anyways, guys, I do have five more picks. Like I said, if you guys want to get every play that we post, head on over to our Patreon or our WAP. Links for both of those are down in the description. You get every single slip we post. Join our free Discord server if you haven't already. Highly recommend you guys get in there. We are doing some giveaways and some specials right now if you sign up for apps. If you sign up for any of our partnered apps, you do get a free month of VIP. Sleeper, Chalkboard, Underdog, uh, Parlay Play will be coming back soon. We don't have it yet, but they did reach out to me yesterday, so we will have a code for them coming up pretty soon too. But anyways, guys, enough rambling. Let's jump into these free picks. And hold up, whoa, whoa, I'm jumping ahead of myself. I do have to give away a free month of VIP. We hit 150 likes in yesterday's video. So if this video gets 150 likes, I'll pick another comment to win a free month of VIP. So leave a comment on the video, leave a like, make sure you're subbed, you gotta be subscribed to win. Let's pick our winner from yesterday. Can't believe I almost forgot this, but um, anyway, it's uh, uh, Murdov Nermat Nermatov. I don't know how to say your name, man. I'm sorry, but he said uh, F and A right, and uh, for sure, man. Send me a message on Discord. Got yourself a free month of VIP, dude. And I do appreciate the love and support from all of you. Let's jump into these free picks now. So, first free pick of the day, we are going to be taking a goblin play. We're going to be taking our man Josh Hoover for TCU. So, like Hoover a lot tonight. I think they're going to have a good game. I think TCU is going to win this game, personally. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what the spread is, but I'm sure they're favored. But got Hoover over one and a half passing touchdowns. I think touchdowns. I think he's going to air the ball out tonight. I think he's going to probably come close to his 300-yard line. I don't really like the 321, really. Uh, well, I mean, I'll show you here in a second. But anyway, let's go ahead and pull up uh, Hoover real quick for you guys. So I do have outliers selected for the four games for tonight. You can see you can come over here and select just these four games, so that way I don't have a million props on the board. This is outlier.bet if you guys are wondering. Free trial link is down in the description. But got him over one and a half passing touchdowns. Over one and a half. He's cashed it eight straight games. He's cashed it all five games this season so far. And uh, really, really like this play for our man Josh Hoover. So uh, you can see he had three, three, four his last three games. And he had two and two his first two games on the season. This is one of my favorite plays on the slate. If you look at Houston, they give up 67th in the nation in passing TDs, which is 1.4, which is actually less than the two. But um, I do think that Hoover is going to be able to get this tonight. Now, looking at this, they passed the ball 58% of the time. Run the ball 42% of the time. You got a few wide receivers they can choose between. You got a Beck right here and then Williams, two of their most uh, targeted wide receivers so far. But um, like this play a lot, guys. If you go to his passing yards, he has over 400 in uh, pretty much two games so far this season. And over 350 in the other two went under one game. But if you look at Houston, passing yards defense, they only get up 11th in the league at 150 passing yards per game. I do think that the TCU is going to be able to air the ball out. But the 320 does scare me slightly. I like the passing TDs a little bit more. I'm not going to say I don't like his passing yards because I do like it, and I think there's a decent chance he catches this, but I don't like it enough to take it as a free pick, so I'm locking in passing TDs as pick number one of the day. So got Josh Hoover over 1.5 passing TDs 
and uh, really, really like this play. So jumping into pick number two, I do have a free slip for you guys as well over on uh, Prize Picks. So this is a little double up slip, a little more than a double up. Got Hoover with Kyle McCord over 310 passing yards. So let's go ahead and pull McCord up right here for you. Kyle McCord, 310, got him locked in versus UNLV. And um, let's go ahead and pull this up real quick. So Kyle McCord, passing yards over 310. This is actually the under. Over 310. He catched it four straight games. He catched it every single game this season. 350, 381, 339, 385. Dude has been a workhorse so far. Been smashing this line. Looking at UNLV, they give up 88th in the nation in passing yards allowed at 226 per game, which is lower than his 310. But I do like this play a lot as well. So coming down here, Syracuse throws the ball 64% of the time. They love to, to air the ball out. I think they're going to have to air the ball out tonight. I think this is going to be a good game. And um, I like Syracuse. And uh, I'm not sure what the spread is on this one either, actually. I keep forgetting. Uh, let me pull up the spread real quick and see if uh, they're actually favored to win right now or if they're actually uh, favored to lose. So right now they got UNLV minus 6.5, which is a 57-point total. Uh, UNLV is obviously ranked 25th. They are the favorites right now. I think Syracuse has a good chance, man. I'm not going to say I think Syracuse wins. I don't trust them enough to play their money line. But um, I do like this play. And a 58-point total, this 310 passing yard should be free for us. Looking at some of the wide receivers I like. I like Pena. I like Gadsden, uh, Meeks. They have a lot of wide receivers that have a lot of targets. You can see it's very close, 23, 25, 25, 32, and 32. So Pena and Gadsden are together. Well, a wide receiver and a tight end with 18% target share. So lots of receivers to choose from. I'll show you one of my favorites here in just a minute. But do like Kyle McCord over 310 and a half passing yards. And I got him locked in already, as you guys see on this free slip. So jumping into our next pick of the or next pick, which is pick number three. We're going to be taking Jordan James. So this is the Oregon running back. Now, I will say I like his goblin and his original line. I'm actually going to lock in both of these today in different slips. I'm going to lock in on both of them as a free pick. Obviously, if he catches the second one, he's going to catch this one too. But I almost took this as a goblin. So I like his goblin a lot. I like playing it as a double up as well at 69 and a half. Playing against MSU, so Michigan State. They have a decent defense. But if you go back and look at Michigan State versus Boston College, Boston College has got over 150 rushing yards. They actually have more rushing yards than they did passing yards versus Michigan State. And uh, they actually lost to Boston College. So if Boston College can drop 44, 24 points on uh, Michigan State, I'm sure Oregon is going to get a lot as well. Oregon's uh, favored by 24 points. So 23 and a half point spread right now. And they, it's a 52 and a half point total. So I think Oregon's going to win the game, obviously. Like this play a lot. Let's go ahead and pull up Jordan James over here on uh, Outlier. <clears throat> Got his rushing yards. 92 and a half right here. We're going to go to 69 and a half first. You can see he's catched it four straight. Every single game this season, he has cashed this number. Looking at Michigan State, they give up 41st in the nation at 115 rushing yards per game. If you come down here and go to defense for Michigan State, offense for Oregon, you can't see Oregon gets 301 passing yards per game at 152 rushing yards. And if you look at uh, Michigan State, they're about the same in defense for passes and uh, rushing. But looking at how Boston College ran the ball on them, I think Jordan James is going to have a, a really good game tonight. Look at his rush attempts. He has 16 attempts per game on average. Had 20 his last game versus UCLA. I think they're going to be winning the game. I think they're going to run the ball a little bit more. And uh, just like this play for Jordan James. Oregon does pass the ball 52% of the time. So pretty much a 50-50 split on pass and run rate. Jordan James gets 64 rush attempts so far this season, which is 48% of the rush share with uh, Noah Whittington right behind him at uh, 26%. So, like this play a lot for Jordan James at 69.5. If you go to 90.5, he did chalk with one game versus Oregon State, but I think he's going to catch it here tonight. I think he's going to get a, around 100 rushing yards for us. And uh really like this play for Jordan James. So, that's going to be pick number three and four if you consider both of these uh, separate picks, but totally up to you. So, pick number three, Jordan James over rushing yards. And for our fourth or fifth and final play of the day, we're going to be taking a Syracuse receiver I told you guys I had. So, we're going to be taking our man Tre Trevor Pena. We're going to lock him in over uh, 65 and a half receiving yards. So, I like this play a lot. We already got a um, Kyle McCord passing yards. So, if he gets 310 passing yards, somebody's got to get the receiving yards, man. I think Trevor Pena is going to have a lot of a, a lot of receptions and a lot of targets. So, let's go ahead and pull him up here. You saw he was tied with um with their tight end for the, the most uh, targets so far this season. So, um let's see here. Over 65 and a half. He's catched it three or four games. He missed it his last game. But, um, 
He has smashed that line every single other game. Looking at UNLV, 88th in the league in receiving yards, allowed at 226 receiving yards per game. Coming over here to targets, our man uh, Pena had six targets last game, seven his first two, and then he had 12 that, first, that uh, third game versus Stanford, which was actually a really close game. Stanford ended up beating him by two points, and uh, I think in that game I had Stanford minus two and a half, which, uh, yeah, uh, they ended up chalking me. But anyways, you can see 12 or 12 targets with 10 receptions that game. Pass the ball 64% of the time. Come down here, Penn is the most uh, targeted wide receiver, him and Gadsden, which is a uh, tight end. Both of them 8, 18%. So there's going to be a lot of targets. There's a lot of receivers that can get these. Um, can get these. I mean, they throw it to the running back, throw it to the tight end, throw it to wide receivers. They throw the ball every chance they get. So Trevor Penn, I think, will get at least 8 to 10 targets tonight. I think, or at least, well, I say six to six to eight probably is a good, good number. He could get more depending on how close this game is. They are UNLV. I think UNLV probably has a good chance at beating them. Obviously, they're favorites. And um, if Syracuse is tailing, I could see him getting eight to ten for sure. But um, if if they keep the game super close or they're in the lead the game, I could see him getting six to eight. So it really just depends on how the how the game script plays out. But I do like Trevor Penna over six and a half or sixty five and a half receiving yards. So those are our plays today, guys. Josh Hoover over one and a half passing touchdowns. Kyle McCord over three hundred. 10 passing yards, Jordan James over 69 and a half rush yards, Jordan James over 90 and a half rush yards, and then Trevor Penna over 65.5 receiving yards. Lock them in if you like them, fade them if you don't. Make sure you guys leave a like and a comment on this video for a chance at free VIP. I do have one plug before we leave this to uh, leave the video, and that is going to be for DGF. If you guys don't know what DGF is, it is an optimizer. It's a tool that takes our plays from our apps like Prize Picks and Underdog, compares them directly to sports books, gives you this percent odds of the hit, makes line shopping so easy, guys. Guys, if you use code ACES, you get 25% off your entire purchase as well as you get our VIP for free. So highly recommend you guys give it a try. If you come over here to AI Slip Generator, the AI G Slip Generator has been their bread and butter so far, up 1,863 units. I think it went up like 20 units yesterday just from these slips. So if you played one unit on every single play, you say it's a if it was a dollar unit, you'd be up $1,800. If, if it's a $10 unit size, you'd be up $18,000. But um, really, really... uh great platform and highly suggest you guys give it a try if you want but anyways once again guys those are all our free plays you already saw them but hope you have an awesome day leave a like and comment on the video and i'll see y'all in tomorrow's video